Welcome to Try Healthy. First time here? Awesome, awesome. Hey guys, if you have not done so, head over to our YouTube channel and subscribe. Uh, we've been hitting major milestones almost every other week, guys. Head over there and check out what number we are on YouTube. We are coming to you live utilizing the social medias. You can find us on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, just Google us. We are all over the place. We are Try-Healthy and Try-Healthy Hemp. Uh, today, I am with a special guest, Dylan from the Eastwood Mall. Now, Dylan, how are you today? I'm good. I'm excited. Everything is great today. So even, even though it's a Monday? Even though it's a Monday, Paul. Wow. Can you tell me? Tell me. What could make a Monday so special? Uh, well, I could. Or I could play this intro because we have a special guest. And I'm pretty sure this intro will uh, kind of give you an idea of the special guest. A special guest today on The Hemp Show. Would you like to see this intro we've made? I would love to. Okay, here it goes. Check out our special guest. Hello, Rebecca. I'm here. <laughs> Dylan, can you introduce us to Rebecca? So um, this is Rebecca. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to butcher that last name. I, I, I'm like, I looked and I'm like, oh God, how do you say that? <laughs> it's but Selena. She, <laughs> Selena's? Yeah. Yes. So she's behind the cats, the friendly noodle. And the noodlings, correct? The noodlings. Yes, we like to call them that. The noodles and so the noodles and noodlings. Tell me more. What what is a noodle? <laughs> noodle is uh, one of my cats' names. He kind of. Oh. I post all of my cats on social media, but he's kind of the one that most people like. So but noodles is the superstar. He's the superstar. The uh, stare that has nothing behind it. <laughs> That's the, so noodles is the feature on the slideshow, is what I'm yeah. catching. <laughs> ah, okay. I included the other ones too, not just noodles. <laughs> so, what are some of the other other cats' names? Um, there's Atlas and Quid and Haku. And uh, the noodlings are squid and haku because they they kind of look like if noodle was split in two. <laughs> so all the hair. Yep. <laughs> I can see if I can grab one of them real quick. <laughs> oh, gonna go grab one. Cool. Uh oh. So we're gonna have noodles actually on camera. Or one this of the noodles. Exciting. Or and noodles. <laughs> so that's the superstar. Hi, Noodles. I love his face. Now, does Noodles know he's on camera? Because I think he does. <laughs> I think he can hear you. Yeah. We do Hi, have noodles. a question uh, from William Smith. What made you start the Noodles pages? Uh, 
Doodle on a and uh, I saw a lot of people liked it. So I guess I made his own page Instagram that just kept going. Is it made it I, I can see him. I can see why people are drawn to noodles. Um, we've got a couple comments. Oh my gosh, so cute. Um, I think noodles is a superstar because as soon as he got on camera, he looked right at the camera. His noodles ears perked up. And I, I thought I saw him smile a little bit. Did you see that, Dylan? I thought him, I, just, the, just the smirk. Like it wasn't a full blown smile, but I did, I did see a small smirk. Yeah. Stacy says noodles is so cute. Love his eyes. <laughs> Those are yes. his. So I I can see the inspiration in the paintings um, mm -hmm. on why that's the focal point. So with that being said, so you're also an artist. Yes. <laughs> I paint a lot of okay. heads. <laughs> so um, I mean when I when I first saw noodles on camera, it definitely um, the, the distinct eyes, just the look <laughs> that noodles have. Um, so that's where you draw a lot of your inspiration from in the paintings. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. He's uh, got so much personality. I can, yeah, definitely see that personality. Even just a photo, not even a video. Oh, Miss Stacy wants to know how old noodles is. Noodles gonna be seven years old, I think. Really? He looks like just from the videos and stuff, he seems like so much energy, like a kitten. Yeah, he does. Like a three, at least a three-year-old. <laughs> he still sleeps a lot during the day. The store is <laughs> So, yeah, um, get the zoomies in the morning. Little bunny hop thing. <laughs> yep. Um, so besides noodles related project, what's your favorite thing to do? Um, besides beautiful painting? Yeah, what's your favorite thing to do besides that? I like to, like other people's pets too, surprising them. Other people's pets? Yeah. Uh, so, oh, <laughs> so if I have a pet, oh wow. The meowing cats? Mm -hmm. That is so cool. So if if I have a, if I have a pet or a cat, I'm able to send you a picture, and you're able to make magic on canvas. Yeah, um, I actually get a lot of submissions, so there's only a chance now for me to do it. Yeah, I'm, I think. Uh, well, that's congratulations <laughs> on that. That's phenomenal. Congratulations. I think I actually sent in a couple photos with my cat princess, but I couldn't quite get her to face the camera. I was just like, "Come on, come on," and she just. I'm like, okay, side face, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I do a do different themes for each painting, so there's plenty of opportunity yeah. to send more photos. I just okay. want to see them all. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So you said theme, so you, you like to theme out some of your paintings. Mm -hmm. um, where do you draw the inspiration from that? I really like painting particular expressions like to show people that cats can display emotion honestly they yeah. really can. like i don't know about you but um my oldest cat when i'm in a bad mood she she won't leave my side she'll sit there and just lay next to me or my new orange cat i don't know what it is about orange cats in personal space but he'll like lay on my face and just like lick my hair and i'm like <laughs> like thank you but can you let me breathe please <laughs> You know, the one orange brain cell going on there. <laughs> Except it's always the orange boys, it seems like. Like, or just orange cats in general that don't know space. Mm -hmm. um, so with different types of cats and different colors of cats, do you see similarities in colors and breeds of expressions and personalities? Mm. I tried to try to pick the ones that look the most unique honestly uh, yeah I, th I mean yeah your your pictures capture the <laughs> those expressions and you can you can almost feel what the cat's feeling and what it's thinking and uh, that's just great artwork thank you uh i tried to make it to where it's like 
could easily identify that cat. If you know that cat, you've seen photos of that cat. Yeah, like. That's I remember, was it the Meowing Cats one? I believe, um, I think you added marmalade and coal and, oh, and then I saw like what happened with coal and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> but it was like, it was a great way to also remember him by too. Like not just his Instagram, but like his expression in that painting was great. Yeah, I try to, cause these paintings will probably last a really long time past all of their lives. So I think it's a good way to capture like how well cared for these cats are in this time period. Yeah. yeah, and the expressions too. When you know when you when when you have a pet, um, it's it's a it's a member of the family, and they have attitudes. Oh, yeah, you know, and they've they got they've got attitudes. They got bad days, but then, like you said, Dylan, when when you have a bad day, they seem to know that as well. And when you're able to capture that. And give that to give that to a customer or to a client or to somebody requests that. That's got to be fulfilling. Mm -hmm. um, what do you have any good any stories of um, any requests and fulfillments um, that stand out? Let me just look at my painting. <laughs> <laughs> um. That is so. Cool. I'm looking at that. I'm looking at all the different all the different emotions wow i can point noodles out right away <laughs> let me think here i know like as far as famous cat goes there's a bunch of people that requested this cat right here because her name is pot roast <laughs> and she, pot roast. she had no teeth and she was just a unique cat and I think a lot of people appreciated the uniqueness. Mm -hmm. Christy Beach Lover asks, does everybody get along in the house? Yeah, actually, the as far as my cats go, they're pretty calm. Uh, so your cats, nice. so you have more than the ones we've seen? <laughs> four, four. There's four. I have four cats, uh, but Squid and Haku are brothers, so they kind of gotcha. So they got a bond. See who's the stronger brother. They get a little rough sometimes. Do they fight over food? Someone asked. <laughs> Nothing like that. Oh, <laughs> They're like be playing, and then it just got too serious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and one of the uh, says, "Do cats ever get midnight zoomies?" I know you were saying about the morning zoom zoomies. They sure do, uh, especially Atlas. I think. Um, like we'll go lay down for bed and you'll hear Atlas start his zoomies. He'll go, wow, <laughs> just run. run. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, sorry. We already, you already brought noodles on camera. So that was a question that was already done. Um, so I know, at least I know about this. I don't know if you know, Paul, uh, what, what is this monthly um, patron thing? And uh, how do we get behind that? Um, so every month I send out something called noodle mail. It's like, I got one. Let me see if I have my envelope. <laughs> yeah. So I make art of my cats, like at least one painting a month. And I make it into stickers, prints, and send it out to people with like the monthly little little bit of happiness so, that's really cool like, <laughs> you know and i think what was it uh -oh. this month was coasters wasn't it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that, i think he showed that to me earlier <laughs> that noodles with a pool floaty <laughs> noodles in a pool floaty that is awesome. Uh, oh, Stacy's loving it. Also, Christy Beach Lover again says, all, "Are all the cats as full of personality as Noodles?" Yeah, I think every cat has their own personality. It's like I think up to me to try and show everyone like each cat's personality, which how it's shining through. So. 
you guys are recruiting Stacy over to the, the kitty cat side of things. Yeah, Paul, she wants a cat. I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this in the comments. Paul, I mean, Stacy is Paul's wife, the other owner of the company. I want an orange cat. Stacy's, <laughs> Stacy's wanting an orange cat. What's the personality? Okay, if we get an orange cat, what kind of personality should I expect? Uh, they're very loving, it seems. At least that's my experience with orange cats. Thanks. Rebecca, same thing. I you think I've never had an orange cat myself. But. Well, what about expressions um, and personalities? What what can I expect with the orange cats? Bunch of smiles. Are they going to get mad at me if I don't share my eggs with them in the morning? Uh, I think they're similar to me. They don't have much going on. <laughs> okay. They really don't. Um, orange cats, like I, I swear, they have one single brain cell. I, I can probably hang out with them. Yeah. So, like, we could probably sit there on a Saturday night and just sit on the couch together and play video games. So this me is and the cat. what I mean by no brain cell. That's how my orange. <laughs> that's how the orange cat lays all the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm becoming more and more to the cat side too, Stacy. Yeah. So, uh -oh. is Noodles the first cat you've owned? No, he was uh, my husband's cat before I met him. Oh. And then he became your cat. Yep. <laughs> um, my first cat was Atlas. Hmm. I adopted him in 2018, and then I met my husband and Noodle in 2019, the following year. <laughs> That's it. So Atlas is like the one with the bobtail, right? Mm-hmm. The tabby, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think his little, like, little nub is so cute. <laughs> I love it. He's like, just like, wiggles it around awesome. when he's excited <laughs> yeah. he's actually my largest cat still. oh is he <laughs> yeah i can see where he's at right now <laughs> <laughs> special guest atlas <laughs> so yeah stacy is on the cat side now she's over here commenting what's cats, also great cats, about cats. cats too if you go on vacation literally just make sure they have enough food water and a litter box Oh, look, it's Atlas. Oh, hi, Atlas. He's a big boy. Hello. <laughs> look, he's not camera shy either. He knows what's, he knows what's oh, to do. He, oh, he's a big, he is a big boy. Yeah, he is a big yeah. boy. <laughs> so, I was like, can you? Hi, Atlas. <laughs> Saying hi to everybody. There's the fur. <laughs> That's definitely a tabby fur right there. <laughs> I want to hug him. Says, Stacy says, oh, I used to have a cat that looked like him named Thomas. <laughs> Atlas is getting some love. So can you tell us about your current project you're working on and was it inspired by the meowing cats? Yes, um, you, you might have got a glimpse earlier. There's the, the chorus and then following that, I started this painting. It's, it's the, the sillies where they're blepping where they're all with their tongues out <laughs> cats with their tongues out mm -hmm. <laughs> and um it's kind of a continual <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we'll yes and that is normal with cats they will stick their butts in your faces and not care <laughs> i'm seeing that they're not shy yeah. tongues lots of tongues <laughs> um yeah. <laughs> oh, Do something similar to meowing, but a little different. Where they're just different. So I have a little clip if you're interested in seeing. Um, I, it's a little clip I put together of some of your art. And I was going to ask after we show a little bit of your art, do you mind if I share my screen on your website so we can see a little bit more? Sure. Okay. I didn't want to take, like, I had to do, I literally went down the rabbit hole finding <laughs> art. I didn't want to sit there and copy and paste from your website. That's your art, you know? So I figured, put together what I could with Facebook and then ask if I could share on the live. So, go ahead. That's what this little clip is. Like I said, 
just a small clip and then we'll go ahead and share the page here. Share the screen. Of course, I had it all set up and then it's like, nope. <laughs> so let me know if it's on the, if it's showing on the screen. Okay, we're good. We can see it. So there's Noodle in his little fool float. <laughs> Paintings. Why are we? There we go. It's going a little slow. My computer is not the newest of computers, but there's the chorus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my <laughs> website, it's kind of just a slideshow of most of my work that's cat related. That's cute. Hello. <laughs> There's a fancy atlas. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Noodles. Yeah. There's a noodle mail delivery. He's in the post office <laughs> delivering. The falling cats. Mm -hmm. I think the raining cats was the first group painting I ever did with cats. Those are some close-ups of it. I think I have this one as an air freshener, if I remember correctly. Yeah. It's in my car. <laughs> I feel like I can like see that little thing spinning on his head. I love this. <laughs> and I feel like this is such accurate. Like once a cat chooses you, you don't move. <laughs> Can't get up. This I love this one. It looks like they're dancing. I like that one too. And this one's great. Not a thought behind the eyes. <laughs> it looks like he's saying hi. That's so cute. But yeah, I do try to capture with photos, like how <laughs> they're being, and then as a painter, you can just combine all this together. Make yeah, it I mean, something new. you are extremely talented. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Is that the Noodles Dad? Yep, that's Noodle Dad. <laughs> Forever captured his bad hair, he says. <laughs> 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 that's kind of a tiny self-portrait. <laughs> these are great i mean honestly you're very talented and you could see the love in that photo that you did or painting hugging haku right there <laughs> <laughs> i think that one's a magnet or a sticker one of the two <laughs> both there's teleporting noodle <laughs> and then strawberry hat atlas there's strawberry meow Strawberry meow. Is that, these are just great. <laughs> and these are also some examples of like cards you can get in noodle mail, isn't it? Because I feel like I have some of these. Yeah. Like each time I would make these paintings, I would include a version in the noodle mail. That is a chunky cat. <laughs> <laughs> Noodles in the chick. He's a chicken noodle. <laughs> Chicken noodle. That was probably my first painting of the noodlings. Oh, and them in their hats. And the headless on my desk that I'm using right now. <laughs> Just trying to capture what it's like to live with them. I, I feel like you did a great job. <laughs> I think so too. I agree with that 100%. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead. I feel like we could be here for a long time just looking at art. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to. Uh, Free stream, but I you can visit this website. Uh, it's your first and last name and then art.com, correct? Yes. Yeah. You're so, so Yeah, if you want to, you know, browse any of these paintings, just check out that website. Like, even see like paintings of people. It's not just cats. She's really talented, guys. Come and check it out. Oh, this next one. I, I think that's also <laughs> an air freshener. Yes. Flower board. Yeah, so I'm gonna put it back to restrain. I definitely have a few favorites. I have many in my top five, <laughs> probably 30. 
that are in my top five. Oh my. <laughs> wow, I want a cat so we can get a pic. She said you do really good work and then paw in the mouth. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> that one. Is... So good. That painting, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Paul, I know me and you were talking about this. Weren't, and this is, um, we kind of wanted this to be the one surprise. It's not questions, don't worry. Um, we want to send you something. Mm -hmm. Send me? you something. Yeah, we want to send you, well, I guess, a couple somethings. Isn't that right, Paul? I think we can send a couple somethings. So, absolutely. One of them is our own pet oil. It's oh, crow oh. flavor. So, um, oops, sorry. You kind of, now, Paul, could you give us a little bit of information about the uh, pet oil? I know I give it to my cats and they like Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So we have a couple of different pet products. Um, this one is um, specifically designed for the smaller pets. Uh, it's 150 milligrams of CBD in the entire bottle. Um, one dropper full is equal to five milligrams for, so it's pre pretty easy to figure out dosing. Um, and, and, it's, and you're able to adjust the dosing based on the size of the cat and what you're trying to work with, uh, work on, uh, work with your pet on. Um, I think, you know, owners just, you, you know, personalities of your pets, you know, pets better than anybody. And there's really not a prescription. You just work with them. And like we've seen it with dogs before where, you know, you give a, a, an older dog oil, uh, CBD oil at night. He acts like a puppy. It's cause he doesn't hurt. He feels great. He wants to run around. That's not great because you're not getting any sleep. Um, so you, you know, you have to learn your pets. You understand what they um, what they respond to. And, you know, I think with you being um, being able to understand animals, uh, we would love feedback from you on on this on this type of product. Uh, JC says, my sister's cat has to have it or she's mean. Oh. <laughs> yes. And it's a fact. Like, the cat wouldn't let you go up the stairs. Like, it just hisses. Oh. But then, like, you give it oil and then, like, it's on your lap. Like, it's snuggling and cuddly. And 180 right there. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah. Um, I put it in my cat's water because I know I have a degree back in the veterinarian background. And at one point I did work in that field. I'm too emotional to work in that field because yeah. I couldn't use euthanasia. I cried every time. And I'm like, nope, can't do it, can't do it. I'm too sensitive. <laughs> but I know how hard it is to give any type of animal anything in their mouth. Unless you have the magic animal that just sits there and is like, okay, give it to me. I just put it in my cat's water. And that way, like that one dropper goes through three of my cats. Cause I got three and they'll drink it. And I've noticed, you know, my older cat has more energy all of a sudden. I'm like, oh, well, where'd you come from? Normally you sleep all day. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be great to try cause uh, I have to take the cats to get groomed. Okay. Right? Haku has so much anxiety. The little white one. Yeah, that's definitely, it's just a good thing for anxiety. <laughs> I think we're meeting another kitty you know, cat. And the thing with, with pets is, aw. Oh my God, all the, yeah. wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Oh, he looks like he's got that mean mug face too. And the personality, yeah, the face. He's got permanent. He's got so, permanent. He said, I heard groomer. <laughs> Stacy says, oh my God. Yep, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm not getting my hair cut. I'm out of here. Way too cute. <laughs> so I also suggested, and I already asked Paul about this, so you know, Paul, we want to send you out one of our shirts. So um, after the live, we can get with you for sizes because, you know, it's never polite to ask somebody their size <laughs> in front of everybody. Okay. <laughs> and Paul wants to design a noodle shirt for you and send it out to you. Mm -hmm. No way. <laughs> yeah, we'll hook you out. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. So uh, we'll, I'll, obviously, I'll keep in touch too because, you know, Discord <laughs> and that noodle stuff is just amazing. And I love the fact that you actually communicate with your fans. You're not just one of those artists that, how do I say this? Just like, oh, yeah, you know, join this, join that. But then you never really hear from them or they're, 
kind of like snooty about things where it's like, oh, well, this is my time kind of thing. Whereas you bring so much joy, not even just with your cats, but the fact that you interact with everybody. I see it on your Discord page. That's I mean, right. <laughs> like it's only right, you know, I'm a person for I, your old people. Like I want to connect with people about over cats. <laughs> And I, I'm I'm new to noodles. I'm relatively new, but I'm definitely a noodler now. Um, I'm going to be noodling a lot, and I'm a follower. And um, I think my wife too is subscribing as we speak. So we'll be getting magnets and 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 our daily noodle or monthly noodles too. Um, if anybody's interested, what what are some of the, how can we learn more about you about noodles and about the whole noodles family yeah on my website i link everything, oh. have a bunch of social media i'm just trying to show everyone a chance to see how happy they are. yeah because i know um and we don't have and i just someone we don't have to get in i know um you kind of have like some writer's block or kind of in a rut and i know i i saw how the community came together i mean even i reached out and just because i know what it's like i'm not an art like i'm not an artist but like digital stuff is my thing like i do lives on twitch i do live like i go live just playing video games but there's sometimes there's times i don't want to do it and i'm sitting there like man i don't and i felt rally <laughs> Uh, earlier this year, I could not paint. <laughs> I was like painting maybe once every two weeks, and that was it. I'm like, I, I need to do more. <laughs> I get that. So, I also wanted to share something from the Noodles Instagram, if that's okay. <laughs> it is probably one of my favorite videos. Like, it makes me laugh every single time because his um, reactions are just <laughs> on point. So I'm gonna go to, cause I saved it just because if I'm having a bad day, that's my go-to noodles one. Video. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen again. And it's hard to choose cause there's a lot, but this one just it was like the perfect one. Just that one time I was, so we're gonna go, it's right here. It was that trend with that video. Oh, I think. This, this out of girl. girl. Where? <laughs> who? You been where? Where who? Mm, for real. Oh, really? That's how you feel. <laughs> and then Noodles. we have his alter ego. <laughs> Needles. <laughs> and a fan came up with that. Oh, did they? Needles? They did very early on. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> All great. the thoughts and then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cute. Like it was perfect because, you know, most of the time noodle that wide eyed stare, and when he looks mean, he turns into needles. Needles. <laughs> and he even has his own Instagram page, his alter ego. He does. <laughs> oh, so there was. I know I said it was just the one video. There is one more. Unless I've got to see if I can find it. Unless you might be able to find it. It's the one with him eating chips. The existential crisis. So let me see. See if I can find it on my on your page. Cause I'm pretty sure I saved it, but I've also saved quite a bit of noodles stuff. <laughs> I'm excited about noodles reels coming into my feed now since <laughs> I'm a follower. Let's see. Search. Make sure you guys follow if you guys want to see more noodles. Make sure you go out and follow. <laughs> Is it, it's guaranteed. She's guaranteed I mean, it, to make your day. Like. If you're if you're having a bad day and you see a, a picture of noodles, I think that's really all you need. Let's see. Where is it? I'm 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 scrolling like. 
I think it's good idea. While they're looking know. for that, I can drop some links. Let's see. Oh, I think I found it. We're going to go ahead. Share the screen again. Stacy just asked if you can drop the link. Yes, that, I, th I think I found it too. Let's see. I'll, I'll pull up. Yeah. Noodle's very picky with what he eats. So. I am having a crisis, 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 an existential crisis, crisis, crisis. Everything feels pointless, so I'm going to eat more chips. I am having. So he likes to eat chips when he's having a crisis. One of his only human snacks that he likes, just uh, eat puffs. <laughs> Let's see. And then what was the, uh, so this one caught me by surprise just because I was not prepared for how quiet noodles is yeah. meow was. We, uh, we just talked, we talked about it before we went live. So I know you're already knowing which one I'm talking about. So this is all the cats meowing. That's cor mm -hmm. correct. Right? Yeah. It's so quiet. <laughs> I feel like out of all of them, it's noodles and um, haiku that have the smallest meows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Noodles for sure. I don't think he knew how to meow before around Atlas. Oh, really? Yeah, he never meowed before. Just like, oh. oh. Do you want to know my meow? I think there was a video you're like meows without like opening your mouth or something like like that. He just goes, hmm. Hmm. So, yeah. I'm not very good at meowing, so that's why I'm not my meowing with you guys. You don't have to be good. You just you know, meow. There's your meow. I think I can probably bark better than a meow. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure, Paul, you also, you dropped some links. I also dropped a couple links. So if anybody's interested, you know, go check out Noodles. There's Instagram, there's Facebook, there's the, is it called, is it pronounced Patreon? I'm, like, I never know. So there's Patreon, if you're interested in the Noodle Mail, there, there's her art page. Like, there's a bunch of ways you can connect with looking at Noodles and just checking out, you know, Rebecca. Her is a and it's a fun follow and it's a positive it's it's like goodness on the internet you don't find that every day where <laughs> it's entertaining it's it's just good stuff um yeah. so when it comes across on your feed it just makes you feel better as a person so i'm glad to be a follower and i'm glad to have found you so but Thank you. <laughs> Even though you thought it was like a bowl of noodles at first. <laughs> well, yeah, Dylan's like, we're going to be interviewing noodles. And I'm like, that's great. Um, and then we started doing research and I'm like, oh, wow. And again, you know, um, you know, phenomenal artist. And it's one thing having talent, but it's another being able to get your work out to people to see the talent that you have. You know, and you just can't be like, hey, look how great I am and nobody's going to look, you know, but you found this unique way of being able to express that. And again, it's just good stuff on the Internet. And, you know, when you see that, follow it, share it, like it and just spread more of the good stuff out there. Mm -hmm. So, Paul, for the shirt that we're sending, not the one we're making for her, but our... Um store shirt are we sending her one of the flower power shirts or one of our other ones i mean if whatever which one she likes we can send her out send her yeah. out we've got lots of try healthy designs we've got the one i have on now we have our shirt of the month which is our flower power that's we one. know what paul's wearing so whatever design you like the most well uh, you can send anything and i like it <laughs> We make all our shirts in house, so great. I wish I, I want to get to that point where we can make any everything in house. Like, uh, do you have? 
quick question. I know, like, do you have Noodles apparel? Um, yeah, we made a few shirts, but, you know, we ordered from Emmy, Noodle Dead, met a friend that makes shirts somewhere in the West Coast. Okay. But, yeah. It is the boxcar noodle. The one in the little race car box. That's the yeah. I thought I saw one, but I like I said, I went down the rabbit hole of them, like I said, pocket. Pocket noodle. Mm -hmm. The pocket noodle. <laughs> Are those like available for people to buy or was that like an exclusive? It's on the Etsy shop. Oh, so you have an Etsy shop. I do. Yeah. You got to share that link too. <laughs> so we'll get all your links and put them all on the bottom of the article so everybody can find all the different merch, all the different stuff that's out there. Um, I think Stacy's going to be buying a few things, if not adopting a cat. I'm sure she vol she volunteered to babysit. So I think we're, we're two hours away. So if you need a babysitter, right? I don't know oh. if I can handle all four at one time but i could probably do one at a time but i don't know if we could handle all four but all i just found etsy things. just by uh putting in friendly noodle <laughs> so i'll put that Stacey in said we should we should noodle out noodle out noodle out so just stare into space <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> so but yeah so do you have anything that maybe you want to ask us or? Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Your cats. What are their names? My cats. So I want to also pull up pictures because what cat owner does not have thousands <laughs> of pictures of their cats? Must see. Like. Enough of cat photos. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, let's see. Besides my kids' photos, I have a bunch of kids' photos too, because I'm that mom. <laughs> so this is, um, when I say my orange cat has no personal space, this is what I wake up to. <laughs> right there. <laughs> like I can't roll over because then I'm in his way. Let's see. And that that's Peaches. Peaches. And then this is my one that's gonna be 11 this year. That is Princess. <laughs> The little black and white tugs. I'm seeing a this. little attitude in that one. So when she lays like that, we call it the paint me like your French girl. <laughs> Lay. And I have, so this cat right here, I don't know if you know the term, uh, Rebecca might. She is a polydactyl, which, mean, which means she has extra toes on all of her paws. Hmm. So this is, she's a tortoiseshell. Oh. And that. this is what her paw looks, one of her paws look like. Each of her paws have extra toes. I bet you she's really good at math. Yeah. So when she walks, it looks like she's walking with mittens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. great. <laughs> so that one is Miss Mittens, a.k.a. Miss Murder Mittens. The extra, the extra beans well. to murder you with. It's mm -hmm. a very well-named cat. And then that black and white one is Princess. I didn't name her, but it fit. So I'm like, you know, we're not changing that cat's name because her personality is a princess. Mm -hmm. so, oh. I, ha I had a dog. And mm -hmm. our dog is actually what got us into the CBD business. Mm -hmm. um, she was around 11. And, she, you know, she just didn't have the spring in her step like she did. And we got some cbd oil for her and all of a sudden the tail activated again it was wagging we were going around the block she was trying to go around the block twice and then no. one day she tried to go around three times and i'm like listen, listen dog I, I can't i can't keep up you know and that's when we looked at me and my wife looked at each other and we said look she doesn't know what she's taking she just knows she's feeling better and that's when we said, you know what, maybe we should look a little bit more into it. And that's what got us into CBD and got us into the hemp business was was our pet. Um, and we see that a lot with other people, too, is it, people care about their pets more than they care about themselves. Um, I see that a lot. They'll put their pets in front of them themselves. And, you know, when you see when you when you see a loved one. Right. I mean, our pets are family members. 
when you see a loved one that's hurting and you, you finally see some relief, you're just like, wow. And, um, you know, that kind of opens us up to other customers from, from the pet side is just like me, I couldn't keep up with our dog. So I had to start taking it so I can get around the block three times. Um, and what's great too, is a lot of vets do recommend it. So it's not like, Oh, here, take this. And we don't know what's what it's about. What I like too is me having that degree. I can actually vouch to not only for our product, but Hey, <laughs> vets do recommend this especially if you have animals that are hard to pill. If you have animals that you don't want on like three different things, you have something that's all in one. That makes sense. Like anxiety. I, I even take stuff for anxiety because I'm by nature, a nervous person. <laughs> and I, for the longest time to be on it, I was on something called Celexa. I didn't like the way it made me feel. And I asked, everybody like okay what can i do what can i do because i don't like feeling disjoint the disconnected from everybody and once i started working here it's like oh i could have been doing this i could have not been hmm. taking things that make me feel like crap <laughs> and have fun with this like this is great <laughs> you know and if you're a pet you can't break that down to the vet you can't be like look doc i've had a really bad day Rebecca's not feed me. Like she just she's giving me shrimp every day. Like I can't handle this anymore. Um, you know, it, like you, like an animal is an animal, right? They can't talk to us, so you have to read that body language. And it's you know, in Rebecca, you know this better than anybody because you're looking for those expressions. You know, um, so yeah, it's 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 difficult when it comes to pet health, especially narrowing down what the triggers are. And cats are definitely a little bit more tricky than dogs because cats don't want you to know that they're hurt. They, don't, they hide. Yeah. They don't want you to know that they're sick. They will either go hide or they won't move from a spot they found comfortable and they'll just sit there. Like I actually worried because I went on vacation and I guess my cat did not move from my room until I got back. And as soon as I got back, oh, I'm fine. Like <laughs> I wasn't abandoning you. We just went on vacation. <laughs> Yeah, they're looking for good at their pain, too. Like, you can only get, there's only very slight, like, that they're wrong. Like, as soon as I notice one of them's used the litter, like, outside the box, something might be up. Yeah, they're very, and especially, even if it's just, like, you, um, changing their litter though like it can be something as simple as that they might not even like the litter you're giving them they're just letting you know like hey i don't like this exactly well do we have anything else to add before we uh wrap up this live i just thank you for your time and and sharing some noodle stories with us thanks for inviting me and I was going to ask, do you mind sticking around a couple minutes after we go um, off the live? Sure. Awesome. Well, thank you. And anything else from you, Paul? No. Nope. Thanks again, Rebecca, for, for hanging out with us. Yes, thank you. So I'm going to go ahead and see you, everyone. <laughs>